Good evening and welcome to our first football Friday night of 2013. Several games starting late tonight trying to avoid the heat. No change in time for the Helias home opener and this might have been the best matchup in the state tonight. Phil Pitts, the Crusaders finishing second in the state last year, ranked number two in class four in the preseason state poll. Harrisonville number three making the visits and the Wildcats go on top early. Zach Davidson 16 yard carry Helias down seven nothing. Not for long. Wyatt Porter goes on top to his big target. Hale Hench is the first of two touchdown passes in the opening half. Helias led it 14 seven. Hench is coming in on defense. Big defensive play there on the sack. How about the football Friday night shirts thanks to custom screen printing and Jeff DeLong. Late first half it appeared Helias had scored again. Porter reaches out, but they call it a fumble. No touchdown. Helias would go to the locker room with a 14 to 7 advantage. They came out in the third quarter and they scored quickly. Porter, his third touchdown pass of the night, hitting Ryan Tannehill 28 yard connection as Tannehill gets into the end zone 21 7 Helias, but Harrisonville scored two unanswered touchdowns. Late in the game, this one 44 yards. Austin Hopper hops in. Three minutes left in the game. Helias still led it 21 to 20, but Harrisonville goes for two. Quarterback Zach Davidson goes over, and that's the ball game. Helias losing a heartbreaker 22 to 21 to open the season. Our own Tom Leffler has the full story on this one. Crazy opening night at Adkins Stadium. Go to Leffler's link on our website at connectmidmissouri.com. The Hickman Cupies had a magical season in 2012, finishing 9 and 2. Head coach Arnell Monroe and the Cupes on the home field in Columbia tonight. Justice Keith punches one in from three. Second half of the game tied at 13. North had a chance to take the lead, but Grant Jones blocks the field goal attempt. Hickman takes over. Big penalty. Cube set up at the 13. Sam Smith, 28 yard field goal is good. Gave Hickman a three point lead at the half. But North comes back to win at 27 to 16. The final as the Cubes lose the opener. Big win on the road for Rockbridge. They go into St. Louis and beat DeSmet in a back and forth game. Wild shootout. The Bruins are 1 0, beating DeSmet 41 to 35. High school football history on the west side of Columbia tonight. Tony Mullen has the story of the newest team in town. Tony. Rod, thanks a lot for the first time. Football Friday night came to the new Battle High School. The Spartans hosted a jamboree last week. Tonight, though, they played for real in front of an ice crowd in Columbia. Justin Conyers and the Spartans making their regular season debut against Kansas City East. First drive the game for battle. This is the second play. First first down in Spartan history. That's Marshall Willingham nine yard gain. Very next play. Here comes the first battle touchdown. Nash Sutherland to the near sideline shakes off a tackler there. 33 yards to pay dirt. It's seven nothing in favor of battle. The first of many touchdowns for the Spartans tonight. Jerron Key on a fourth down and five gets that and a whole lot more. He'll go the distance 30 yards for the touchdown battle. Rolls to victory in its first varsity football game 56 to 6 over Kansas City East. Spartans will look to make it 2 and 0 when they host Hannibal next Friday night. A lot of fun in Columbia this year with seven games on the home turf for battle. Rod. Wow, thanks a lot, Tony. What a debut for battle. The Hawthorne Bank game of the night in Boonville. The California Pintos making a visit to the home of the Pirates. This one wasn't close. California coming off a 13-1 state semifinal season. A lot of talent returning for these Pintos and a chance to make another great run this year. First quarter Pintos show their defense. Michael Goins forcing the fumble. Dustin Forsyth recovers. A few plays later on offense, quarterback Jaden Barr takes it into the quarterback sneak. 7-0 Pintos. Later in the quarter, Pintos set up another scoring drive. Leads to a bar. One yard quarterback sneak for the touchdown. 13 to nothing. Put your hands up in the air for the TD. Second quarter. Bar to Dylan Albertson on the slant down to the one yard line. What do you think they'll do on this play? How about call Barr's number? One yard sneak. California led 35 zip at the half. Pintos win it 42 to 7. The Blair Oaks Falcons made it to the class two championship game last season. Another tough schedule to begin this season playing at Moberly tonight. 
Blair Oaks has been battling all kinds of injuries. They battled a good team tonight. Moberly takes the opening kick 90 yards. That's Greg Bain in for the touchdown. It was quickly Moberly on top. 7-0, he gets piled on. Later on, first quarter, Spartan quarterback Justin Conaway hands to Bain. Five-yard touchdown, Moberly up 13 to nothing. First quarter winding down, Blair Oaks with the ball. Jordan Hare, the quarterback, rolls out, finds Hayden Locke with a nice slide there. Sideline catch, Blair Oaks hung tough for a while, but Moberly cruises to the 48-18 to victory in Spartan country. And the powerhouse Centralia Panthers ranked number nine in the preseason poll, kicking off the season at home, hosting Highland. Panthers on the move. Logan Armantrout completes a third down pass to Gannon Peevler on the sideline. A couple plays later, Armantrout finds Chandler Kovar. This one, a 30 yard touchdown strike, seven to nothing Centralia early. Second Panther drive. Cullen Ralphs, the senior tailback. Up the middle, 24 yards to Pater. Centralia led 42 zip at the half. They win it 55 to nothing. Uh, walk in the park over Highland. And what a way to open up the season in the Kingdom of Callaway. Our Westminster College game of the night. North Callaway invading South tonight in Mocaine. South in the blue jerseys. This is the quarterback Troy Henches throwing a nice pass to Mason Schumacher. But no scoring in this game for a while. North Callaway, Michael Overstreet. This guy is tough on defense into the South Callaway backfield for the sack. A few plays later, South Callaway's Garner Rudolph gets a big run up the sideline. South Callaway led it six to nothing in the third quarter and then went on to win it 31 to nothing over North. And the long Tipton Cardinal regular season winning streak has come to an end. 68 straight for Tony Braby and company. They hadn't lost a regular season game since 2006. Well, they had trouble tonight against Sedalia Sacred Heart. An early fumble here recovered by Cal Racy of Sacred Heart. And the Gremlins would capitalize. Michael Hone takes the sweep and he's gone off to the races 50 yards outrunning the Tipton defenders. It was six to nothing Sacred Heart. Tipton crowd silent in disbelief. Later on Sacred Heart on the fourth down quarterback Chase Lyles to Caleb Tangway. And it was Tangway 25 yards for the touchdown. Tipton losing. Badly 39 to nothing to Sacred Heart. The win streak is over in Fulton tonight. The hometown Hornets hosting the school of the Osage. This was a crazy game. First quarter Fulton driving quarterback Joe Schlemeyer throwing the interception. That was about all he did wrong in the first half though. Second quarter Fulton with the ball. It's Schlemeyer over to Chris Tilson. Look at the moves here quickly. He makes his way down the field 62 yards for the touchdown. Fulton had dominated this game in the first half, but Osage comes back to take the lead in the second half, but Fulton comes back to win it. Good win for the Hornets, 28 to 22. Mexico losing to St. Joe Lafayette on the road tonight. It was Versailles falling in a nail biter. Nob Noster wins that one 35 to 32. Marshall losing to Chillicothe. Owensville on their new home field losing to Borgia. It was Camdenton coming back in the fourth quarter to beat Hillcrest. The Lakers win it 17 to 14. St. James over Cuba big and Rolla falls to Lebanon. Let's go to Victor Field in Eldon. The Mustangs coming off a state quarterfinal run a year ago. Shannon Jolly's team opening with Miller Career Academy. Things looking good for Eldon in the maroon early. Quarterback Wyatt Greenwald goes in on the sneak 7-0 Eldon. How about more football Friday night shirts at the Mustang Memorial Stadium tonight? Another short touchdown run for Eldon. Raymond Kwok goes in 20-14 Mustangs at the half, but Miller Career Academy comes back to win a shootout. Look at that little touchdown 48 to 42. The final Eldon Falls on opening night. The Southern Boone Eagles coming off a tough season. Just one and nine last year. Roger Van de Zandt's team hosting the Tigers from Kirksville. Not a good start for the hometown Eagles. First possession Kirksville's McKenna Cook up top to Nathan Farnsworth 36 yard touchdown Tigers up eight to nothing later opening quarter. Eagles now down 14 to nothing. Jay Tagger takes the handoff, finds some room up the middle, avoids a tackler. He'll take this one 40 yards for an Eagle first down. 
inside the Kirksville 40 yard line. Southern Boone though would fumble it away later on the drive. Eagles played better late in this game, but they fall to Kirksville the final 40 to 26. And in Herman tonight, the hometown Bearcats welcoming the Wildcats from Montgomery County. Herman with a sack of the Montgomery quarterback Evan Milner. Later on, Montgomery in the blue. Dylan Skeen steps up big on defense here. Actually, Montgomery quarterback Evan Milner right here in the white. Montgomery wearing the white jerseys on the road here. Nice 12 yard run and Montgomery goes on to win it 23 20 spoiling the Herman home opener. Fayette traveled to Hallsville. Good win for the Indians tonight 42 to 12. Tolton Catholic playing a very tough Valley Catholic team losing on the road. It was Van Farr falling to O'Fallon Christian Salisbury a big win tonight and West Strand rolls over North Shelby. Nixa shuts out Smith Cotton and the Paris Coyotes win a game at Schuyler County. Back to our defensive play of the night. We call it the Steve's Pest Control Defensive Pest of the Night. And we go to the Helias game. Hale Henches in the Harrisonville backfield in a hurry on the sack. Our Steve's Pest Control Defensive Pest of the Night. And week number one, Pizza Hut Team of the Night honors go to, you gotta give it to battle. The Spartans make school history first varsity football game, first win. Justin Conyers and company go celebrate at your local Pizza Huts. And for all your football Friday night scores, go to our High School Football Central webpage brought to you by Central Bank. Later on, you can see highlights and vote on our play of the week beginning on Sunday. Check it out. Tony Mullen will give you those highlights on Sunday. You'll have two days to vote. Also, look out for the prep power poll. Also, TJ Fenske in charge of that on our website. Thanks to our KRCG Football Friday Night crew, Tony Mullen, TJ Fenske, Seth Trotter, Lucas Bond, Madison Walker, Con Costin, producer Jenny Weiser, and the all-star director Phil Caps, who loves to do this every week. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. KRCG's High School Football Friday Night has been brought to you by GFI Digital, Hawthorne Bank, Westminster College, Capital City Christian Church, St. Mary's Sports Medicine, Rourke Aluminum, Randy Kaiser, State Farm Insurance, Steve's Pest Control, and Custom Screen Printing and Embroidery.